Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will set up our Android testing lab. The first thing that we need to do is to install VirtualBox. VirtualBox or VB is a software virtualization package that installs on an operating system as an application. VirtualBox allows additional operating systems to be installed on it as a guest operating system and run in a virtual environment. You can install VirtualBox from here, save it on your computer, then set up it like any other software on your Windows. I have already installed the software on my computer. As you can see here, this is the graphical user interface of VirtualBox. VirtualBox allows you to run more than one operating system at a time. We will use VirtualBox to install Santoku Linux. Now the next thing that we need to do is to download Santoku. Santoku is one of the best open source operating systems dedicated to mobile forensics, analysis, and security. Press the download button here to go to the download page. You will have two options here, the torrent and the direct download. Choose the option that you prefer. I have already downloaded Santuco Linux on my computer. As you can see here, this is the ISO image of Santuco Linux. The size is over 2 GB. We will use it to install the system on VirtualBox. Now the last thing that we need to do to complete our testing lab is to install GenieMotion emulator. GenieMotion is an easy to use Android emulator that has been designed to help app developers test their products within a safe virtual environment. You will need to sign up for an account first so you can download the software. Since we have installed VirtualBox, we will just install GenieMotion without VirtualBox. I have already installed it. As you can see here, GenieMotion will enable you to create Android emulator. You can use the add button here to create your custom phone. We see here that GenieMotion is giving us a list of different mobile vendors. You can choose the phone that you want from this list. I will set up an emulator with Google Nexus phone for example. And here I will choose Android version 6 for example. By clicking this arrow, you will see some information about the phone. So let's click next to set up the phone. Click next again to start the setup process. Now we should give GenieMotion some time to set up our new phone on the emulator. It usually takes between 2 minutes to 5 minutes. Here we go. The new phone has been created. As you can see here, a new virtual machine has been created. You can start the phone from the play button. Also, you can go to the settings of the emulator or go to the settings of the phone to change things like the used RAM, storage, and other things. The phone will use 2 GB of RAM. You can change it to different values, but keep in mind that this value will be consumed from your computer. I will try for example, change it to 1500 of RAM. Now press the play button to start our phone. You will see here that a virtual machine has been created within VirtualBox for this phone. GenieMotion is using VirtualBox to create emulators.
Now give the emulator some time to start. It usually takes a few minutes. As you can see, it is now loading. Jenny Motion heavily simplifies the use of Android emulators by running them in a virtual environment and removes the requirement of having Android SDK installed. We will be using this throughout the course of Android penetration testing. Here we go, you can see that it is a normal phone. It is the same like the Android device which we use daily. Here you will see many apps that exist on every Android phone such as the clock and other phone apps such as contacts. You will have here also an option for the battery. You can turn on the battery or turn on the charger. Developers are using these emulators to test mobile apps before publishing it on the store. During this course, we will use this virtual phone to test the security of Android applications. Now, the last thing that we should do is to set up a new virtual machine to install Santoku Linux. Now, go to VirtualBox and hit the new button to create a new virtual machine. Give it any name, Android testing for example, and choose the type which is Linux, then press the next button. Here you can give the virtual machine the RAM value, I will keep it 1GB. Just follow the default options, click create, next, next, and here you should give it the storage value. The minimum requirement for the storage is 25GB. I will give it 28GB. Now the virtual machine has been created. You can change the settings such as the used RAM, the storage and other things from here anytime you want. For now, let's start the machine to install Santoku Linux. So for the first time you will start this virtual machine, it will ask you for the location of the Santoku image which is the ISO file that you downloaded. So here I will give it the location of the ISO image. Now press start to run Santoku Linux. The system by default will boot the live system. You will get the same virtual box message. You just need to click capture. And also you need to know that the right control on the keyboard will be used to exit from the virtual machine. If you want to exit the full screen mode, you will press the right control plus the F button. As you can see, Santoku Linux live system is loading. There is no installation in the live system, and you can use the live system directly without any installation. But we will install Santoku Linux to the hard disk, so we can save our work on the hard disk. After the live system has been started, you will find here on the desktop a file called install Santoku. You just need to run this file to start the installation process. The first window is asking about the language. We keep it English. The second window is telling you that you should at least have the following things. We are okay, so press continue. Here is asking about the installation type. We will keep the default option. Just press install now. Where are you? And it detected my location through the IP address. He is right, I am currently in Dubai. So I will press continue. Now give it your keyboard language. I will stay with English. Continue. Now give it any name and any password then press continue.
Okay, copying files, which means that the installation process has been started. From now on, we will wait for a few minutes. The installation process will take longer than that because I have paused the screen recording. Almost finished copying files. Okay, let's wait. Sounds great. The installation has finished. It says that if you didn't restart the system, any saved work will be lost. Anyway, let's restart later and press continue testing for now to show you how Santuku system looks. If you can go down here and press the knife icon, you will see a lot of things such as system tools, accessories, and the most important menu is the Santuku menu, which contains a lot of pen testing tools. We will use some of these tools to hack Android applications in the next sections. Now let's restart the Santuku system to install the virtual box tools. You will notice now or after restart that you can't make the screen bigger. Actually, you can't go into the full screen mode. And to fix this issue, we need to install the virtual box tools to enhance performance. If you got this message, just press enter. Now Santuku is restarting. After that, we will install the virtual box tools. Okay, write the password that you have created during installation, then press login. You can upgrade if you want, but there is no need for that now, so I will press don't upgrade. Now let's install the virtual box tools to enhance performance. From devices menu, press insert guest CD image. Now there is a CD has been inserted in this system. Let's access it from the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T. Write ls command to show all the files in this directory. We should go back to access the Santuku folder. The command cd dot dot will go back. Go back again then check the files in the media directory. The media directory is for mounting file systems on removable media like CD-ROM, drivers and disks. So let's access the media directory by typing cd space media. We have two directories here, CD-ROM and Santoku. Let's check them. Well, CD-ROM directory is empty, so let's check the Santoku directory. Let's go back, type cd space dot dot, then cd santoku. Let's access the santoku folder. Sounds good. There is a directory named vbox, which is a shortcut for virtual box. So let's access this folder. Let's access this directory to see what it contains. Okay, perfect. All that you need to do now is to run the autorun.sh file.
you can run it by typing dot slash autorun dot sh to install the virtual box tools just give it the system password to continue the installation has been started it will take a few minutes I will pause the record for some time Okay, VirtualBox tools have been installed. Now let's restart Santoku Linux. You can see now that the screen becomes bigger, which means that the virtual tools have been successfully installed. And we can also access the full screen mode. Don't forget that you can exit full screen mode by pressing the right control button plus the F button. Now we have successfully set up everything, and our lab is ready for pen testing.